this is Mamata Samaras. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view, this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the right side view. First of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In a top view, first I will draw this rectangle, and this rectangle is 200 by 120. Then I, I will extrude it to 70 units. Here we can see I have many features to do uh, throughout this center line. So I will extrude boss in direction 1 uh, is 70 minus 18.3 and in direction 2 uh, 18.3. So let's start. First of all, select the top plane, then select sketch. Now select center rectangle. Now place the rectangle in the origin. Now dimension it to 120 unit by 200 unit. Now isometric it, go to features and then extrude boss. In the direction 1, extrude boss it to 70 minus 18.3. Uh, I will edit features because I forgot to uh, dimension it to the in direction 2. So, so also select the direction 2. Now dimension it to 18.3. Now press OK. Now the total dimension is 70 unit. After that, here we can see we have a inner slot. The middle slot uh, is 5 unit apart from the this surface. So I will draw a reference plane. Then I will draw this inner middle slot. The middle slot has a length of from this center line. In the left side is 35 and 35. In the right side, if I minus 80 minus 35, then I will get 45 plus 25. So I can see that uh, the inner the middle slot has. 70 unit dimension in this side and also 70 unit dimension in other side so first of all i will select this side now i select reference then plane now dimension to 5 unit and uh, flip offset now press ok now select this plane now sketch now normal to it now select center point is straight slot then place the slot to the origin and now as we can see i have discussed that it will be 80 minus 35 plus 25 the total will be 70 and the it is uh, 10 radius so i total this will be 10 multiplied by 2 press ok if you want to check, I will expand dimension it for you. I will select this point and select this point, and you can see it has a dimension of 70. And if I select this point, uh, I will get the radius of the semicircle. Okay. Now isometric it, I will exit sketch. Now hide this plane. After that, we can see we have the outer slot. The outer slot is seems like uh, as it is, we can see uh, it is 90 degree. So I will uh, draw the outer slot uh, 5 degree, 5 unit offset from the middle slot. Okay, now select this face. Now select sketch. Now normal to it. Now select offset and select a line. Now dimension it to 5 unit. Uncheck the bidirectional. Now press OK. Now we can see we have got a similar shape like middle slot and the outer slot. As you can see, we have drawn our shape. Now I will exit sketch. To get a cut of 90 degree, I will use the uh, lofted cut so selecting the lofted cut now selecting 
selecting this point on the outer surface and this point on the inner slot now press ok now you can see I have got the lofted cut as we have another lofted cut in the other side so I will mirror it so select the front plane now select mirror and select the features you want to mirror I want to mirror the cut loft one now select ok next I will draw the inner slot here you can see from this center line the inner slot is 35 unit in the left direction but if I uh, minus 8 uh, if I 80 minus 35 then I will get a total dimension of 45 in the right side so this is, is an unusual shape so I won't draw a direct slot so I'll first draw a center line which contain 45 unit of dimension in the right side then I will draw another center line in the left side that will contain 35 unit of dimension after that as I know the the radius is 10 so I know that the distance from this here and here is 10 unit and distance from the center line and the ho lower horizontal line is 10 unit I will offset this two line then I will draw this semicircle by using circle tools okay let's start select this face now select sketch now normal to it now go to sketch and select center line now place the center line to origin now I draw a center line of 80 minus 35 I will get 45 unit now again place your center line to the origin and draw another center line of 35 unit okay now press ok now select offset entities now select line and select this line also dimension it to 10 unit because we have a semicircle radius of 10 unit now select bidirectional now press ok for drawing the semicircle I will use circle tool so I will I am using the circle tool after that select trim entities and trim all the unnecessary part that we don't need now press ok as you can see uh, the item is over dimensioned uh, so I will delete the extra dimension that I don't need ok now isometric it now go to features and select a stud cut and extrude cut it to through all both side okay after that now here we can see we have a radius of 400 unit here so i will draw a circular path of 400 unit then I will close the circular part then I will cut this portion so I am selecting the front plane now select sketch now normal to it as I can see it has a radius of 400 units so I will select a center line and place the center line top of the surface and now dimension to 400 unit okay press ok after that for drawing a circle part I will first use the circle tool to draw the full circle then I will cut as as necessary so for making a close shape I will I am using the corner rectangle drawing a corner rectangle now select the trim option and trim all the part you don't need now we can see we have drawn the shape that we need to extrude cut now go to features and then extrude cut now select through all both sides you, you can also use manually the dimension but I will use through all both sides because it takes less time now 
here you can see in the right plane in the right plane we can see another circular cut uh, which has a dimension of 100 unit i'll draw this circular part of 100 uh, unit radius then close the circular part same way i have done in the front plane then i will extrude cut that uh, close part okay now select select the right plane now select sketch now normal to it after that select the center line place the center line at the middle point now dimension it to uh, as the radius dimension it is 100 unit after that select a circle now place the circle and draw a circle for making a close shape i will use the center rectangle because it takes less time now i will trim all the necessary part i done i don't need now press ok as we can see this curved surface this curved surface here is total going to through this circular path going through this circular path. so i need to extrude cut it but i will need to uh, make it follow this circular path so so i will use the swift cut tool for using swift cut tool i will first uh, exit a sketch then select swift cut now i will select and uh, this sketch now path as a path i need to extrude cut it to through this circular path profile now select bidirectional now press ok as you can see we are quite getting right now we have to draw this extrude cut in this face in here first i will draw a rectangle then i will dimension the rectangle to 80 by 35 then i will make it to make the distance dimension okay for this i will select the top plane now select sketch now normal to it after that i will select the corner rectangle place the rectangle here and draw a rectangle as usual now select is my dimension and dimension the rectangle to 35 unit uh, by 80 unit and the distance from this horizontal line to this horizontal line will be 120 minus 80 80 uh, by 2 divided by 2 now press ok now press ok now i will isometric it now go to features now is to cut and is to cut it to through all both sides now press ok we have the same is to cut in the other side so this time i want to draw it again so i will mirror it select the right plane now select mirror now features to be mirror now select s to cut now press ok as we can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different